Now, who's up and coming? What's coming up? We talking television, and film, entertainment, and such. The hottest yes, topic. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, yeah, Ron. Yeah. What's up? What's up? Thanks Give it up for my man, Ron. 112, everybody. 112 in the building. Oh my God! So first of all, how amazing was the Bad Boy reunion? Yeah, I got to see it, man. It was a, probably one of the best concerts I've ever seen in my life. I know it was. Yeah, it was it how was, was it for you? Best. It was one of the best. Like since we've been touring, like. We kind of took a hiatus for a second, and then we started back touring maybe five years ago. Like since that time, I think it's it's the best one. Like the production of it, the staging, the lighting, you know, just having all the family on one stage again, and how everything was just, you know, set up and running. Like it was, that was. I think it's my favorite. Memories, show. right? Yeah. So, far. Yeah. so how was the reception throughout the nation, man? I mean, because you guys toured everywhere. For yeah. This. So how um, was that? It, it was an incredible reception. People were really excited, you know, just to see us all back doing the classics and. and you know, it was just nostalgic. I mean, just as nostalgic as it was for us as yeah. it was for everybody else. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Seeing Puffy again and wow. having those conversations. Every and, song. You know, no, no, yeah, I'm telling you. The prayer this, before the show yeah, and all that. So, you know? so this was truly the soundtrack of my life. Just, hit, just watching this. It was yeah. amazing, man. Probably, like I said, one of the best shows. You said shows Britney Spears was the soundtrack. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, man, I, it was hit after hit. I got to give Puffy respect, man. I didn't realize how many... How many careers he launched, and just sit all on one stage, just made it all. Yeah. It just made it all. Like, How's wow. you guys' relationship with Puffy? Yeah, oh, yeah, it's all good. You know yeah. what I mean, it's great. It's great. So he yeah. just called you, was like, "We're doing this." Did he prep you? Did he say? Well, it really didn't start out like a tour. It was okay. kind of like a celebration of Biggie's life, oh, and, yeah. it, and it kicked off in, in uh, New York. So they really called us for the first show. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it, I mean, it started before that actually, because he did this thing with Snoop, and it was like. Uh, P. Diddy and Snoop and Friends, and so mm -hmm. it kind of was like bubbling during that time, and then they did the Biggie thing. Oh, my James Brown. The score going on here. Soul man at heart. But yeah, so I mean, it was you know, he started off in Brooklyn, and then from from there, I feel like you know, once the public rece received it so well, mm. then it became this thing like, Definitely. okay, y'all need to make this. Yeah, y'all could just did it in Brooklyn no. and been like, no, no. We, we, we need Atlanta was a big part of that too. Because y'all, 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 this is home for y'all. Right. So yeah, that's how y'all got discovered. So tell us, you guys, it was the true story is Biggie discovered you guys outside the club once. Well, it was actually Puffy was coming out of the club, and, mm -hmm. and Kevin Wells, who was our manager at the time, okay. had a great relationship with Puffy, and he was just trying to get us signed, you know, mm -hmm. and discovered by by Diddy at the time. So when he was leaving the club, he, he just had us outside, and we was. Of course, too young to get in. Mm -hmm. So we were sitting in the parking lot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the tweezers. Just in, yeah, the, the original one's well, right. right. Uh, auditioning yeah. in the parking lot. And so, you know how people just associate you with a place and it becomes a nickname like, oh, 112, what's up? 112, wow. there they go, oh, 112. Oh, so, that's so it, cool. It just stuck. Yeah. That's kind of like the new edition moment. Like Michael Bibb's Discover Boys Band. Exactly. That's, that's, that's cool, man. So well, let me ask you, let me, like can, can I ask you a question? I, all right, do you think you guys, 112 is legendary enough to have its own biopic? Of course. And, and if oh, so, yeah. who, who plays you in the biopic? <laughs> that's a good question. Oh, man, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's a good one. But you Maybe, definitely yeah, feel like you have a big enough story. Yeah. Oh, so definitely. much substance. Yeah, definitely. I mean, in the 90s, you know, you know, I mean, it was Boys and Men and mm -hmm. uh, Jodeci. And mm -hmm. then after that, it, the torch was passed to us, 112 and Jagged Edge. That's true. That's true. So that did you guys have era. turmoil? And of course, Drew Hill, yeah. Oh, of course. I mean, everybody has ups and downs. You mm -hmm. know, with your brothers and your family, you know, you're going to have a lot of back and forth. And stuff yeah. Like that. And that's you know, what makes it interesting, though. They be like, who was the Bobby Brown? Right. Bobby? <laughs> who was the Bobby Brown? I, I knew that was coming, but I, I don't was know. Was it you? <laughs> <laughs> if he said he don't know, it's right here. I mean, I don't know because Bobby was huge. Bobby was wild. Bobby was doing a lot. I don't think we had a Bobby. So when you saw the new, the new edition show, um, actual mm -hmm. show, were you like surprised too? Actually, no, because <laughs> we had we had been on tour with them and we had kind of experienced a little bit of you know the division that they had. Uh, like we we did a tour wow. with them, we opened up and we. You know, we was just new in the business, and we were just brothers and doing our little thing like family. And we we go on tour with them, and they got separate tour buses. Yeah, but so y'all just witnessed that. Wow. We was like, whoa, wow, this this how y'all right. this what we doing? Okay. Right. And then it, after we saw that, then our managers pulled us to the side and started talking to us about how divisive the industry can be mm. and how y'all got to stick together and this and this and this. So. I mean, we definitely was not surprised. I wasn't surprised at all. <laughs> so that was smart that they saw that as a teaching moment for you guys. So oh, you didn't make that mistake. Right. You know, I, I'm really good friends with Q, man. And, and okay. you know, he, he's, he's, some, he's somebody that, um, you know. The so big just, homie, much love to Q. Yeah, so, so I, me, I did a me. ghetto gospel play with Q. Did you really? Yeah, called God, get this nigga off me. <laughs> 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 I am 
serious. That's the real thing. That wasn't the name of it, but we did, oh. we did do a ghetto gospel play. Q knows. No, yeah. but, but, he, but he, he talked a lot about how you guys really had to maintain that brotherhood throughout in order to make it. Yeah. You know, because you guys got to live, like to see Jodeci, and Jodeci had that struggles. You know, and, and yeah. we see we all seen that play out on the reality show and everything else. So mm -hmm. I commend you guys for just even being the, um, the the people that could stand there and go through all that and really you know band together, man, because that's a really hard thing to do in this business. Oh yeah, yeah, it gets crazy, man. It gets crazy. So let me ask you this: Would you do a reality show? Nah, no, don't do it. Please don't. Yeah, do it. Yeah, we don't do that. Why? Please don't do it. Nah, that ain't my thing. No, it's too much going on with that, man. Why? What is going on with that? We have to see the real you. The there you go. There you, you go. go. There you, you go. are very private. Yeah, I keep That's my good. private life private. I mean, there's certain things I show with you know my fans and stuff like that, and my team on the internet and stuff like you know I show show pictures of my daughter so everybody know that she was a big hit. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. other than that, man, I keep a private life private. Right, right. Let me. I got a question, man. What the hell happened to R and B? <laughs> That's a big question. Well, I mean, I, I get that question a lot, and I and I try not to be disrespectful to the the R and B that we have now, because we do have R and B, and I and I enjoy it, you know. Mm -hmm. And, it's, Ooh, and, and it speaks to? for it speaks for this generation. It's True. just their voice of R and B. Right. So I try not to be, okay. you know, That's try to take point. a shot at them mm -hmm. or say anything like that. Because when we came out, people were like. Y'all ain't no longer. Right, right. right. You, know, you ain't good at the temptations. You ain't right. right. Yeah, right. They, they, they had a different standard. Yeah. Each one yeah. had a different standard. Yeah. And when technology advances, then the standard gets lower. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? So that's really good. That's a good point. I mean, I think mm -hmm. um, today's R&B, I like it, man. I like it. It's not. It doesn't represent our generation. I think our generation of R&B is more like the love R&B. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like mm -hmm. when people they got a yeah. little mean, they come out, they say, well, if it ain't like '90s R&B, I don't want it. So the '90s generation of R&B is more like love. I think, That's true. I think this generation R&B is more like, okay, I ain't trying to fall in love. I done been hurt too many times. You are gonna really have to prove this to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You got a new solo. It's a different message. Single. You, know you have a new single right oh, now. Oh yeah, yeah. The way we used to be. So the way we used and to that's be. I. I listen to it, and it's like super R and B. It's like oh, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah. So. So well, that's you, really you got an album coming out here soon? Well, right now I'm just introducing the world to Deron Jones. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think everybody knows Deron from 112. Right. right. You know the quiet, shy guy in the group that you know about. Some people knew me for producing a lot of the group hits. Some people. And writing. Oh wow. So, so okay. um, yeah, and Jimmy Fox. So, so it's a lot of things about me just as an individual that people didn't get know. Your money yeah. never stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he kept the lights on. Yeah. Yeah. He did the light. He did. He did. Well, you know, <laughs> he hit him with the lotion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's you know, like I'm not clean as a what you call new it? napkin. Clean as a new napkin for nothing. Well, I know. He, I know he was dressed up for us. He coming from the prom. I know what's going on. <laughs> Trying to, you know, like you you the soundtrack to y'all lives. That's all I can do, man. That's my role in this. I gotta be the soundtrack to your life. So, are you gonna be? I know we met a long time ago. You yeah. came on. Um, was it? I don't know if it was um, Meet the Browns or House of Pain, one of Tyler Perry's shows. Yeah. So, are you looking to do some acting? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I definitely want to get into that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we're gonna get classes kicking off. You know, you teach a class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah a big so class in Atlanta. Yes. Yeah, so talk about Premier Action Network, one of the best classes. <laughs> fan, fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His oh, people booked. A lot of them are working out. Yeah. yeah. I coached Janelle Monet, quite a few people, so oh, hitting nice. dinners and stuff like that. So He okay. teaches me. That he teaches me. He didn't mention that. He's got right here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, man, come check us out. Yeah, she did a great job. She did a great job. So that'd be a good look. So too. we got to get you ready for the 112 movie because he he's still young to play himself in a certain parts of it. He's not gonna play himself. Are you kidding? Yeah, I'm saying I can play myself. Because you know you have to get him right. You have to get him to do who is playing? The only people who play themselves. Muhammad Ali played himself. <laughs> who <laughs> played themselves? That's a good point. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Certain parts of I don't know. Richard, Richard Pryor played himself. Richard Pryor played himself. No. Yeah. <laughs> you can't play, play himself. Yeah, you play now. Yeah, you can. That's right. You show him at the end going on stage at the end. He said I was younger. He said I was younger, though. But yeah. I like that. Yeah. It's a compliment. Absolutely. You, no, you, no. you won't play the daddy of yourself. Y'all kept it. There's nothing about it, man. See, a lot of R&B singers um, you know, from our era, you know, you see them kind of looking. You guys kept yourself together, man. So what, what did you do to just, you know, to maintain yourself? Because, you know, it's, it's really hard in this because you guys have had that rock and roll lifestyle. How were you able to just stay in shape, stay, keep yourself together, you know, and, and, yeah, and still presentable? Any scandals, anything. No, nothing, nothing. That's you good. You guys are good guys. Well, um, honestly, it was no social media back then, so we oh, were Keep sure. <laughs> <laughs> everything in. True. No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just playing. I mean, I think we had a strong foundation, strong spiritual foundation. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, you know, we had a lot of quality control back then, and we had a lot of, um, 
you know, we had good management as far as, you know, mm -hmm. keeping us out of trouble. And we was kids too, so we yeah. was kind of learning as we was going. So it was it was kind of tough to get into trouble when you're not you're not an adult. Right. You know, I signed my contract. We was like 16, 17 years old. Wow, so wow. When only you dropped. You know, we was just graduating oh, from young? high school. Yeah, Jeez. get out of here. I know. You see, y'all were in high school or just graduated. Well, we kinda See, these guys are legends right graduate. here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only you, man. That was so yeah, I listened to that yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I play, yeah, I'm on Spotify, man. I got, I got my 112 playlist there. Do you still oh, talk yeah. to the guys? Are you guys still close? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we tour a lot. We, um, we, we're we going on tour in the UK in October. Wow. We yeah. actually have a show this weekend in Baton Rouge. Y'all tour every, almost every weekend, y'all, somewhere. Yeah, pretty much. Every and week. it's all the guys. Yeah, it's yeah. everybody. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Okay, how, I don't want to ask age, but I know you're significantly older than when you started. So, can you do the same moves? Oh, yeah, I can. I can everybody do the same moves? Because like me, my knees ran out of minutes. <laughs> but they never stop. You always have to exercise. Don't put footage on me. You can pull it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know if y'all were doing like Cisco where you did the jump move. We did. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were smooth. They were just smooth. No, they were okay. smooth. Okay. They were, yeah, you know. They were the truly, the truly uh, r and quartet that, that kept it smooth. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Right. And that's, you know. I think I think you know now you know we don't have any groups like that anymore right now. Nice. You know, it's like the the, the R and B groups like that you know are not around right now. They need to come back. I think they need we definitely need them to come back. So would you do another album with One Twelve? Oh, definitely. Like we always in the studio, so don't don't be surprised. Okay. So what about putting together a group you know for this generation? You thought about something like that? It, it has crossed my mind before. You know what I'm saying, but. You know, you just gotta have the right. That could be a reality show. Gotta have the right. Then she gonna reach out and pitch a reality show. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna, Come on. You almost gotta plug something. She's trying to pitch it right now. Trying to make it work. You must gotta plug. Find the next big boy, I mean, boy find army group. Creative exactly. big boy, man. I can do something there like you that. Go. From 112? Yeah. I mean, hello. Yeah, why not? Why not? I think mean, that's a good idea. I like the way you think. I like the way you think. <laughs> no, but um, all that prying into my personal life, you ain't finna do all that. Now we're gonna do it kind of like how Puffy did Make It to Bed. He just popped in, did what he did, and leave and let them. Let them fight the argument. Right, that, that was right. fun. That was that good. Was I need y'all to walk to Connecticut and give me some orange juice. <laughs> right. So do you right. like social media? Do you like going on and talking, or is it like a hassle? Do you feel like... I mean, I, I love social media. You, you know, okay. I think I loved social media before it actually became social media, because, you know, just at having that entrepreneurial mindset, you mm -hmm. know, when we was touring, you know, it was a time I remember specifically when we was touring overseas a lot, mm -hmm. and we would have like 8,000 people in the audience at wow. one time. Wow. 10,000 people at one time. I would be like, hey, man, let's connect email addresses. You know? Mm -hmm. I'm like, let's connect these email addresses because at the end of the day, if we're, in a, if we're in a label system and the priorities are shifting, you know, sure. at any given moment, if they decide sure. that we're not a priority, we'll always have an outreach to our own people. Family. Exactly. And this is better than radio That's because true. radio, they play the song and you hope that these 10,000 pe 10, people in the audience will get a chance to hear the song. But right. when you, this your fans, they yeah. bought your ticket. Yeah. This ain't no hoping. Yes. You know, you got direct access to them. So I was already thinking that back then. And then a few years later, they came out with the MySpace. And, of course, I jumped on that. <laughs> but, I mean, as soon as I saw it, I started jumping. Out. Yeah. What, what's the most, uh, I don't know, maybe remote city that you went to or country and they really knew all your stuff and you was kind of shocked? Like, damn, we're here in so-and-so. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't even speak English. Right. <laughs> and I don't know. I got it. Because we done been somewhere everywhere, right. and I never you go to been, Africa. Yeah, I, I've never been anywhere where they didn't know the song, even right. when they wow. didn't speak the language. Wow. I remember going to Japan for the first time, and they wasn't speaking English, and they was just singing the songs That's in insane. English. <laughs> Wow. That's uh, insane. One of twelve. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys ever get to a point where you was just like girl crazy or just like funny oh, crazy or? Oh yeah, I think everybody get the big head and everybody fall off the horse. You know, yeah. it happened to the best of them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We definitely, we definitely went through the girl crazy phase and definitely went through the, the blowing up money. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Lord, I still got regrets on that. So if you yeah. could go back, what what would you do different with your money, man? Um, it's just certain things I, I wanted to just bought so quick at one time in mm -hmm. one month. You got to get that car. One time in one month, you was got to get that car in I just house. remember this. Yeah, every every Stone and Linux know you know. Is. I just remember, remember this. this. I remember one month specifically where I bought a house in this month. I bought a car in this month. I bought another car in this month. It was just in one month. Wow. And I spent, it was almost a million dollars in a month's time. Wow. You know, $150,000 home, $250,000 car, and then another $150,000. Wow. 
that you got it to be able to do that, though. That's dope. Right. You know what well, I mean, I mean like, that, yeah. yeah, that was, yeah. you could say that to an extent, but it was just. But if you look back, you'd be like, I could have got a $50,000 car. You got too. me a McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right. And then I yeah, did that yeah. McDonald's still, still be still yeah, out. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, you know, right. So, yeah. so, so all the young folks out there, when you get that money, it's just because we we so it's new, so you just want to have yeah. fun. Yeah, because yeah, I ain't come from money. I tell you, none of us did. Yeah. So when you get it, you like let me do something crazy. Invested, right? Because yeah. right. I get mine. I'm, I'm I got my cousin. I'm gonna give him the money. He gonna flip a bird. So so what was the? You know, we all had these moments when you when you gotta like you know you have that moment that like I can't believe this is happening. What was your moment that you know you had to pinch your pinch myself moment like. You know, what was that moment for you? I think, um, and I tell people this all the time because it, it's just, it's just amazing to me. Like, mm -hmm. I'll say the third album, like, because when y'all say stuff like, you know, you the soundtrack to our lives, I feel like when the third album came out, that's when it first hit me that mm -hmm. the impact that we had made in music. Mm -hmm. Because I was such a, I was a child, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was in the studio making Cupid and stuff like this was just you know, playing you just being a talented yeah, kid yeah, yeah. And, and playing the keyboard and wow. doing what I'm doing. So I never really looked at it, how impactful it was on people's lives. But meanwhile, this album sold a million records. The next album came out, sold another million records. Then by the time the part three album came out, sold another million yeah, records. It, it finally hit me like, wow, this this is the type of impact that we're having on people. Like, yeah. okay, this is why. Like, I just, it took me a long time to figure it out. You know, you left a legacy, man. And yeah. that's, that's the thing. Yeah. You know, that's amazing. I, I would hope so, man. No, our job <laughs> in this world is to leave it better than we, you know, we, we found it and, and, you know, and have something to be remembered by. And you guys yeah. done that, man. So, so, so what's so your goal off. now? Like, what, 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 do, what do you, what's new? What's the next thing? I know you want to, you said you want the people to know who John Jones is. Yeah, just, you know, to continue the legacy. You know, of course, to introduce myself as an individual, mm -hmm. you know, to the world. But, I mean, I'm still doing the group thing. We still do right. our thing. But just to continue to be the soundtrack to people's life, that's really what my job is. Through music. Yeah, music. I follow you on Instagram, man, and you are very engaging with your audience. Yeah. You know, so that's that's the thing. That's the thing that we didn't have growing up. Like, I grew up in a new edition era, so for us to be able to, you know, talk to them would have been great. You know, or talk to even, you know, SWV, whoever. But right. you guys got that now. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, and you take advantage of that. So, yeah. do you, as long as you think keep doing that, the young fine. people know, like, really like you guys? Like, 112? Like, the young people, they need to, like, hmm. different they look, stuff. Look, you know, I, I mean, they I can only go stuff. by the shows. Yeah. Like, when yeah. I go to the shows, like, I see people that's 20 years old in the audience. I see nice. people that. Well, they really respect real music, too. 40, sure. you know. I see, uh, I see a lot of. It's a know, range. Mm -hmm. I'll say, like, from 18 to, like, on up. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But generally, I see a lot of. People that's more like twenty year old, you yeah. know. Up. One of my assistants, Brand Bear, he's twenty seven. He just chimed in, but he said, you know, he he's 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 a music person. Mm -hmm. So right. he, he, no matter what the age, people gonna find real music. Mm -hmm. That's just how it is. And even like yeah. if you talk to young people, because we was talking about the, the this generation's music and and what what their message is saying. You know right. what I'm saying? Like if you talk to them, they still miss the nineties music and, sure. and the message that it have, and they still want more of that nineties. Yeah. Even though they appreciate their music, they like their music too. Like I talk to a lot of young people online. They, hey, what we want this? And when y'all come back out, don't come out sounding like Trey nah. Song and all <laughs> like, This is what I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Say, yeah. You know, we we like that music, but we like them singing that music. So when y'all nice. get ready to come back out, don't sound like Chris Brown. Don't right. sound like Trey Song. Don't sound like August. You know, sound like sound yourself. Like Remain true to who you are. Yeah. And that now, new, speaking of the they did the Bad Boy album. You know, and they kind of changed that sound. They kind of had that bad boy sound, and we didn't like them for that. We wanted them. For, no, <laughs> wow. we really wanted. We wanted them for doing this. Right, right. Work, you know. Mm -hmm. So I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Remain true to your core audience. Don't try to switch it up and change and have a uh, little yaki, yaddy or whatever on your album. You got to. <laughs> you got. You got to do what, what serve your own fan base, right? Right. No, that's what you got to do. True. But you have to be communicating with the people and respect them enough to, you know, hear what they got to say. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the mm -hmm. thing too. Like I always was on that. You know what I'm saying? Because even being able to just make records on a consistent basis that everybody like, you know, you got to kind of know what people are thinking mm -hmm. and what they want. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So even just from listening to the radio, hanging out in the club before it was social media, mm -hmm. even at the barbershop, I learned a lot from just, oh, yeah. instead of telling, you know, come to my house, come to my house, just go to the barbershop. Right. Because mm -hmm. you're a writer. Right here, you know what I'm saying? Right. No, that keeps you here to the street. That keeps you here to the street, man. And, and the barbershop is our spot. And the crazy part, before the Nicki Minaj beat, mm. That's what they was arguing about in the barbershop before the beat came. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. What were they arguing about? They were arguing about between yeah, Nicki Minaj Remy. and Remy Ma. It ain't even no argument. Really? <laughs> you know, who was, you know. Nah, I go to the barbershop still on Panola yeah. Road, and he, he's right. That's the, yeah, that they they the end up having a real conversation. So what you feel about Nicki Minaj and Remy Ma? 
I don't know. I said, do you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> do you. It got us talking about Remy Ma. We wasn't talking about Remy Ma like that before. <laughs> Let me ask you this, Bill. Where were you when uh, when Biggie died, and like, uh, how did that uh, how did that hit? Man, it was it was crazy. We was we was actually doing a show. I can't remember exactly where I was because it's kind of even surreal just to kind of reminisce on it. But I know we was doing a show, and then I woke up to find out the news, and I just know that it was like it was crazy. To me, man, no, no, no. It, that moment there, uh, I remember. Uh, when it happened, it was like hip hop. A part of hip hop had died because you saw your your people that you you know admire, you love their music and everything else. Right. They were getting killed in, in a way. Me, that that thing I, I can tell you some stories about that East West B. Yeah, <laughs> that thing was for real. Yeah, like, yeah. you guys yeah, felt well, it. y'all was right on the cusp right. of that because Diddy was right in the middle of it. Yeah. I remember being at the mall in Cali. Bad boy killers. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> he was like, I think it's time for us to okay. get out. Of here. <laughs> Yeah, thank, you, thank you for the update. Right, right, right. But y'all had no. This didn't come from behind. <laughs> <laughs> he gave us a warning. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> y'all had, this, this, y'all had none of this. You scared then for like a, cause that went on for what a year. I mean, that beef yeah, was like, you know, like I said, I ain't from money, so they had to start shooting to get me scared. But you know, I was, <laughs> I was uh, aware. Yeah, no, I was, that was a tough time. <laughs> you from Atlanta? Yeah, I'm from the A. Born and raised in Atlanta. Born and raised. Wow. Why is he went to? I went to George High School and later changed to South Atlanta, so y'all probably know it in South Atlanta. Mm. I know South Atlanta. I did, I did a, a career day in South Atlanta a couple of times. Oh, so okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Biggie passed. Nope. I was like, damn, they couldn't have took a hammer or... <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> But you know, I, I think you know. I was looking at. I think what it was the twenty year anniversary of the bat, life of death, life after death album. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And just looking at the album cover, man, that was, it was you know, because he had died what sixteen days before the album dropped. You know, and then the name of the album, Life After Death, mm-hmm. it was just eerie, man. Prophetic. I mean, yeah. Yeah, 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 right. Prophetic. Prophetic. I'll I, I be read. Yeah. No. You got. You got. You know. Yeah, and people gotta, still don't think Tupac is dead. Well, you know. Right. Cool. <laughs> Y'all had a relationship with Tupac? No, I, I actually never did. Really? Wow. That's cool. Yeah. What did you think about the Biggie movie? It was pretty good. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, they did a good yeah. job. I think they did a good job with it. You gonna go see Tupac movie? Yeah, let check it out. Mm-hmm. Did you see um, Get Out? I heard, but I haven't. You seen gotta it. see it, man. You gotta see it. You have to. Yeah, see Yeah, we've it. talked about that movie for the last eighteen weeks. Eighteen weeks. Yeah, I, I gotta <laughs> check that out. I've been hearing about it. I said, I'm <laughs> "What do you do for fun? Do you go to the movies? Do you?" I mean, my work is fun. Just work. Like you beautiful. just in the studio. I like playing instruments. I be picking up all types of music. You might see my Instagram. I might be on the saxophone one day. Wow. Nice. A bass guitar the next day. Like, so wow. Like, Are you self taught? Yeah, for the most part. Okay. I mean, I start, my main instrument is piano. I started playing piano by ear at three, but then, like, in the same like grade, Yeah. So you can run a jazz club. He really. like, talented. You know, he can just do whatever. You know, that's a beautiful thing <laughs> about being just sprinkled on you. <laughs> <laughs> just do it all. Hey, man, hey, man. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Just before he ready clean so he can run over the jazz right. club. <laughs> Ooh, the love. first role you need to be is a preacher. <laughs> they calling me preachers lately because I got this song called Hold My Hand mm-hmm. and it's a choir like in the song, so they calling me preacher lately. You want to sing something for it? No, I ain't, ain't going to sing something. Why? I got to ask. I got to try. <laughs> I just be hating that bitch. Do you, do you, I'm a comedian. I, if people be, hey, tell, tell me a tell joke. Me I do want to punch in your fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I hate that. So I know. Yeah, you know what <laughs> you say like, for me? Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we are just lay people. We don't know you don't like to tell a joke. You tell jokes for a living. Oh, How am I supposed to know you don't <laughs> want to tell a joke when you tell a joke for a living? Bro. Yeah, exactly. For a living. I mean, you got some money. All right, let's do it. Shit. So I had a question. So what is the one thing you have not accomplished yet that you wish to accomplish in your career? Um, in my career? Or even in life? Um, hmm. That's a good question. Hmm, let me ponder that one. Okay. Okay. What about you, Sean? What's the one thing that you hadn't accomplished that you want to accomplish? Orgy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I hadn't got it. <laughs> <laughs> orgy. I really want to do it. Yeah, well, you got Facebook. They hear you, so that might happen now. Mom, tune out. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Gideon? What's the one thing that you hadn't accomplished that you want to accomplish? I need a blockbuster movie. Okay. I have okay. got you know to get that. Blockbuster's close. I, I wouldn't mind a Grammy. Sure. I mean, we, we right. want a Grammy as a group. Right. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. You want, yeah, you want yeah. a Grammy as a solo artist? Yeah, I wouldn't mind a Grammy as a solo artist. It's a good benchmark. Mm-hmm. That's dope. You know, and I, you see a lot. Like I watch a lot of like like unsung. I mean, people win that Grammy. That's like validation and saying, "Hey, look, 
you know, the industry really recognize what I've done here. And you guys won it as, as a group, so that, that's that awesome. would be a benchmark. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot of people don't win awards, and that doesn't mean you're not no, not at all. No, amazing. No, 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 because I, I felt like um, Anderson Pot got robbed this year because I thought his album was amazing. But, you know, he didn't, you know, so does it, does it make him any less of an artist? No. Mm -hmm. You don't need an accolade to say I'm more. But if you want it, that's nothing wrong with it. Right, nothing wrong. Yeah, who's yeah. in your, who's in your, uh, in your ears right now? Like, if I, if I was to go in your car mm. and listen to the last five songs or artists, who would, who would I say? you tell the truth about a lot of people we, when they we listen to We heard his um, ringtone. Dane Brown, <laughs> Earth, Wind, and Fire. Earth, Wind, and Fire, right. Um, it's an old soul right here. Yeah, that's what I've been listening to lately. Kirk Franklin, I listen to it. Nice. Mm -hmm. I love gospel music. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's my roots yet. You know? Right. right. <laughs> um, I don't know, I guess I got two more. Uh, Minnie Ripperton. No, why? Oh, wow. And uh, Prince. Prince, mm -hmm. okay. I got to see Straight Prince. Straight on B. I got to see <laughs> Prince's last show, man. He, when he was here at the Fox, and I just didn't, you know, I mean, just amazing artist. You didn't want to see him that Did you way. You heard the audio, the audio of it? No. The one with him and just the keys. Yeah, yeah. That's what. That's what. That's it's, it's, the audio they, is online. You can get out of here. Yeah, it's okay. incredible. I'm gonna look this too. I get You know, I'm, I'm gonna look this too. It inspired you. Yeah. How? Because, you know, I knew that Prince was like a multi instrumentalist. You know, so I knew that. I knew he played guitar. And I saw how fluent he was mm -hmm. at the guitar and the bass, but I had never heard him on keys. So to hear him do keys for an mm. entire show, yeah. like all the songs, and be fluent on the keyboard, that was incredible. That yeah, mm. man was, was a beast, man. He was. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's best ever do it, yeah. He left too soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he did his job here. He did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. What a producer, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we are at our last 10 minutes what, what, what we have something we have to yeah do I, we always um every show talk about a particular movie so this movie that i thought of because i don't know if you heard earlier we were talking about um uber bay this girl <laughs> got I into a crazy you, you saw, saw it yeah you saw the uber bay thing yeah oh my God. this is crazy so they, they recorded it it was recorded no she was Just actually you know online yeah telling her story uh, the uber bay story yeah <laughs> so like what movie uh what what famous movie or like good movie is out where you have like um you know some scandalous like um cheating going on or like mm. you know you have a side chick Mm -hmm. You know, one of those movies. Hmm. Are you asking us what movies? Yeah, yeah. What uh, movie that's a, that you like? I know, I know. For me, uh, classic was uh, probably <laughs> Boomerang. That was like Boomerang. A, yeah, that was like a classic. Yeah. See, the, you know, Eddie was genius enough to flip the whole. You know, normally it's the guy, the woman, the strung out, but this was the yeah, guy. He was strung out. You had the girl, which is how the girl <laughs> but she's one he should have been with. He didn't realize that to the end. Right. Exactly. You know, that was genius. So, uh, who was the side chick in that movie? Uh, you know, he, you know, your girl, Halle Berry, was like, was like the girl that he should have been with, the one that was in his corner or whatever, but he was so after this girl that didn't give nothing about him. He was, was after the hot girl. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was, to me, that was, you know, if you look at it, she was almost like the side chick. She was there in his corner. You know, you got that one, guys, I know, you got that one chick that's in your corner no matter what, that's supposed to be there with you. You know, she's with yeah. you, with you thick and thin and everything else. And we need to, uh, you know, Is that we the always, stupid girl? No, it's not the stupid girl. It's, it's the one that sees your true potential. <laughs> we'll call her that. Ain't the stupid girl. <laughs> the ones that see your true potential. Um, another movie is Fatal Attraction. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was crazy. That's a classic, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? What was that movie uh, Obsessed with Beyonce? That was Fatal Attraction oh, yeah. redone. That's what it was. <laughs> you know, where, where, was where, you know, where was Gene? He brought Beyonce. You know, it, he told me that putting Beyonce in that movie, mm -hmm. you know, he said, Dwayne, if I would put anybody in that movie, it would have been great, but putting Beyonce and made it number one. People want to go see They'll do it. I don't care if Beyonce can go uh, flush a toilet, people gonna watch it. <laughs> You ain't lying. That's exactly. what it is. Exactly. You can, I want to see her flush it up. <laughs> <laughs> like, how did she grab the handle? Like this or like this? <laughs> I had a, I had a Super Bowl party. It was, mm -hmm. it was a lot of females there, and I was talking to my friends that watch this. I said, uh, Lady Gaga did better than Beyonce. Oh, oh, man, they almost killed me at that point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just fucking with them. Yeah. <laughs> you ever met Beyonce? Yeah, back in the day. Oh, uh, yeah. So I guess because when you, they were in Destiny's Child, you know, they were the first together. Right. We did okay. a UK tour together. Mm -hmm. right. nice. Very nice. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, that was the, uh, was the old girl, other two girls in there. This was the original. Which, the original. Okay. Which Destiny Child? <laughs> 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 they run the same trio. Yeah, they run the same time. How long did, was the original for? They just did one album. They did two albums. Um, they did. No, 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 no. They did no album first. Then they did the um, album. They did two albums. It was two albums. That was two albums. 
Two albums, okay. But we don't even remember the original Destiny. Yeah, but because it was always about launching Beyonce. You know, that was the launch for Beyonce. That's what that was. That was the primer. She just shine in a group. Somebody always shines. Well, you know what? They made sure she shine. You didn't know nothing. You don't know what Kelly Kelly's favorite color was. Nothing. And the crazy part is, like, I ain't gonna for. I like Beyonce as a beautiful woman, but Kelly do it for me. Oh yeah, no, no, Latavi was always it for me. You know what I'm saying? For me, you know, I, when she was in the no, 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 I was like, who's that girl with my eyes right there? I gotta know her. And, and, then, be, and then Beyonce her. jumped in front of the TV. Like, <laughs> 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 right, right. But in one twelve, did you? Oh, so, I mean, it just depends on who you are. Mm -hmm. Really, looking at one twelve, like if you a real fan, you'll be like, oh, all them can sing. No, nah, but if you like people who like really don't know the group, really just go pick the album up or don't don't really know each member by name and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like if you're not a fanatic, you know you you probably would assume that it was a new song. So nah. no one was ever jealous. There was no issues oh, nah, of that we, nature. No, nah, it wasn't really not like that because we our lead singing situation was just it was really split up even. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm. And I, I feel like y'all had some dope interludes on y'all album too, man. They, 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 like, I don't know who who did the production on the interludes, man. They was always they took you to the next song. It was always just sick. Like you wanted the interlude to be a whole song by itself. <laughs> right. Yeah, it was always on That's that Jodeci inspiration. Yeah. Oh, hey, you know you got to give Jodeci props. Some cats uh, came and rearranged the game a bit. They brought the bad boy to R and B when it was not like that. You Everybody said we was wanted so, to see a biopic of them. Oh, they, they're working on it. Really Dalvin really just yeah, he just yeah. announced it, man. Yeah, he just. I announced hope it. they're. Well, you know what? That's what's gonna make it good. The, the I ups and downs. The new edition was off the chain. Oh, it was sick. Man. Three yeah. nights. I needed yeah. eight nights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, was, it was actually two nights. One night of commercial. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Yeah. commercial. Why did my son ask me just like two days ago? Are there any more new edition um, shows coming out? Uh, well, they gotta do. They gotta keep it going because yeah. they stopped. Yeah. Yeah. They still had some more to go. Oh, that's right. They stopped oh, in two thousand seven. Right? Yeah, they still got Ronnie it. said that they stopped in two thousand seven. He was like, from two thousand seven to two thousand seventeen, we could do. Well, another right now, they're not even really together. As they're group. not. Yeah, yeah. They're always up and down. But it's you too many egos. They love their relationship, man. They, they, they all love each other. And they, but you know, what causes same time? that, though? Do you think money is the problem? Like money? When somebody gets a little bit more money than you're not been with somebody for 30 years. They've been together for 30 years. No, but they've been together for a long time, too. Right. What do you think? Well, I don't necessarily. It could just be disagreements. Like, it, it don't always have to be specifically money. Mm. Like, you may want somebody to manage you, and they might don't want that. Right, right, okay, right. So if you got to manage, he got to manage, they got to manage. Okay, how do we make this thing happen? You know what I'm saying? Or you may want this song to be the single, they might not. Or mm. I think this song is hot. Well, I'll put it out. So you who know? makes the mm. decision? You guys have to compromise? Like everybody has to well, agree? You have to kind of collectively yeah, make choose, you know, decisions. And mm. move as, as a collective. So a lot of times that causes for like, you know, a little bit of division and stuff mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's really as bad with us as it is. <laughs> with some of the other groups. Right. Like, we still, we still. Y'all just all was cool. That's all. Y'all was just all cool. Yeah, we was. There wasn't no friends. one hot hat. Friends from day one. So. Yeah. I mean, is anybody in your phone like real famous you could call right now that we would like? <laughs> <laughs> Besides D, like the <laughs> president's Diddy. number or something, we could just call. No, I ain't got no friends. Either. Yeah, right. So you're really good friends. <laughs> Really I asked him that he started. He started putting the lotion. Yeah, yeah, he started putting the lotion on. Yeah, that's gonna be our little thing. Anytime. Yeah, 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 no, baby. Yeah, no, yeah, no, baby. Let me just call Barack. Really, what's up? Right, man. Did you ever meet the president? No, I ain't meet the president. Oh, really? Yeah, I ain't meet the president when it was Clinton. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I ain't meet Obama though. How you feel about Trump? Trump. I mean, we are president, man. <laughs> he ain't okay. wipe his hands on that one. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do, right? What can we do? The same process they put him in office is the process they put Obama That's in true. office and Clinton. So true. Trump's just not our guy. I, so. I respect the process. Hey, hey, man, man. You can't do <laughs> nothing but respect the process. Yeah, you can't respect yeah. the process. We had our eight with a full Obama. Eight. Come yeah. on. Eight. We had, it. We, had it. we had it. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. hey, I just respect it. It really is. I'm just look I'm just looking looking to see what you know what 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 we got going on here. Again, we got kids, get kids nowadays, all they know is a black president until now. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> wow. Something, something, something we never would have thought. Wow, they woke up with a black president. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, how old is your daughter? She's uh, four years old. Yeah, so she, 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 <laughs> she don't even know Obama. <laughs> <laughs> she said, who's that guy leaving office? <laughs> 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 she don't even know Obama. She said, who's that guy leaving office? Maybe that was the president. Well, thank you so much. Give him a big round of applause for the guys. so fun. Yes.
So where can they find your stuff? What's your social media? Uh, you can run for 112 on uh, Instagram, and you can pretty much get everything from there. But my mm -hmm. website is deronjonesmusic.com. You can go there too, but Instagram, that's where I'm the most active. At. And what's the name of the single? Uh, the Way We Used To Be. The Way We Used the To Be. On we used right now. Is it, it, can that apply to the Uber girl, The Way We Used To Be? Cause that, oh, that okay? definitely. <laughs> It definitely applies to the Uber Bay. Yeah. <laughs> Uber Bay. <laughs> Where we used to be. I'm, be, I'm definitely going to check it out as soon as we leave here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. So what you guys doing for the rest of the weekend? I'm in Detroit this weekend. I'm a new club called The Punchline. In Indeed. South, yeah, out right outside Detroit, Southfield, uh, Michigan. So I'll be there all weekend. Yourself? I'm working on a short called Black Korea. So. Nice. Are you shooting this weekend? No, no, no. Just, okay. Just working on it. Okay. Dwayne, what you up to? Man? You know, man, um... <laughs> I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit opium Friday night uh, club. <laughs> you gonna go out this weekend? Going out this weekend, man. Are you really? Yeah, man. I'm, I've been working hard the last couple of weeks. Now, but um, I got kids class on Saturday. My teens class, teens and kids, and a couple of headshots, and just chilling this weekend. No, no, no. Oh, oh, also, uh, I did get selected to do the Time Joy on the Morning Cruise next week, so I will oh, not be there. Yeah, okay, so I mean, round five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe Duran come fill in for me next week. <laughs> oh, also, also, you saw the clip. Uh, the Nicholas Cage movie I did is, is actually out. So, uh, nice. the Vengeance. So, I'm um, excited. What is it called? The Vengeance, a love story. Me and Nicholas Cage. You saw the little bar scene. Yes. I'm sitting there with my friend. So, see, that was cool. But, um, oh, cool. yeah, that's coming out soon. I'm working on shot. I'm shooting a Publix commercial on Monday. So, I'm excited about that. Yeah. yeah. Ron's nice. got this going on this weekend. Baton Rouge with the boys. Baton Rouge. Nice. Okay. Um, Casey and JoJo. Wow. I hope I didn't forget nobody. Mace going to be wow. out. <laughs> yeah, how was, how was Mace? Was Mace cool, man? Mace was cool. Yeah. Was Mace cool? Mace, working with Mace, was that cool? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, Mace was still the same. Yeah, same <laughs> <two steps. laughs> That's what he said. Same old two steps. <laughs> Mace. Same old yeah, two yeah. steps, yeah. Nah, he came on, came on y'all tracks and then lit it up, man. So that was that was. Yeah. Cool. That was a fun time. Well, that's it, boys, nice. right? That's, that's it, it, guys. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. There it is. Industry School. Industry School. Thursdays 1 to 2. WorldStarHitRadio.com. Oh. Now, who's up and coming? What's coming up? We talking television, film, entertainment, and such. The hottest topic here. We got it in the clutch. Sports, fashion, politics.